Absolutely. Uh, uh, I mean, is something wrong? Something is wrong. Wait. No, just hit. It's just letting you know that I'm recording, so you should be able to. Ah, okay. Just accept. Right okay. Okay. Hi, everyone. Maybe. Welcome to Hera TV. Uh, this is Mary Pagano. I'm one of the board advisors for Hera, and I want to introduce you to two lovely human beings in New York City, um, Jose Castello Branco and Betty Grafstein. And as you can see, they're extremely elegant, very, very well known in the fashion industry. And um, we're really excited to have them he here to talk to us today. So I've got a few questions I'm gonna ask you guys about um, Hera. And then also, if you'd like to share something towards the end, we'll, we'll do that. So my first question, and um, I think what's important for Hera is about female empowerment, you know, getting the message out about how important women are on the planet. And so I wanted to ask the both of you, what does, does female empowerment mean something to you? For me, it's, um, it's very, very, very important. Um, the, the, the power to be in the hands of the women. For one, uh, for one reason, all the big societies start with matriarchate. Matriarchate is correct? Matriarch. Matriarch. And the respect for the matriarch, if today, is still today, was not se uh, sexual aggressions was not uh, um, sexual ab abuse, was not, uh, uh, what is the other thing, the, the men's beating the wives? Uh, violence, um, <laughs> yes, yeah. it, abuse. Abuse, violence, yes. okay. okay. And um, it's, it's funny because the respect for a woman, it's extraordinarily important. I see Betty, she's 92 and she's still powerful. Yes, yes, that, that's awesome. And we applaud you, Betty, for your strength and everything that you've done. Um, if I got another question for you. If we had more female leaders around the world, would we have a better future for humanity and the planet? Yes, definitely. 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 You know, one of the things I've noticed, and I've been in corporate America a long time, and, um, and now that I'm doing this work with Hera, um, it's interesting to see that, that women leaders have a higher sense of EQ than men do. I mean, men have a, a, a really strong sense of IQ, but when it comes to taking care of family and kids and community, and the planet. I just feel that women sometimes have a, a stronger sense of doing something about that. It's oh, true. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. I sign a hundred percent. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. Because um, the problem is uh, special. I think start more in the 19th century in Victorian, uh, in time, the men start to have the power, the power of all but the power. The 20th century was the beginning, and uh, the 20s was the beginning of the women's start come out of the, the shells. of the shells was the moment women start to shorter hair was the Charleston was all the music it's all, all the art contemporary was like everything is a co connected everything is a connection nothing yeah. happens in the air and was the moment women start to put short skirts was the moment the moment Chanel and Betty was a good friends with with Mademoiselle um Chanel uh, funny enough today she have a belt for for the days of mademoiselle I saw that it was beautiful you can see the belt yes I can see the belt you it's see beautiful. look yes look, this is for the days of mademoiselle I love it I love it I think and it's and, and, and because she needs to be in flat shoes uh -huh. let me show by camera 
Yeah. No, not me. Her. Yeah. She need to be in flat shoes. Show show your shoe. You oh, see? Cute. Yeah, I love those. I love those yeah. shoes. Yeah, I'm <laughs> the same way. Flat shoes. We are ready for <laughs> dinner. We are ready already for dinner. That's well, why I told let's do it Wednesday because we're going to be ready for dinner. There you go. That's brilliant. But you know <laughs> the important thing is, and I think um you both are you know exquisite at it, is that the ability to dress, you know, very fashionably and female and 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 own who you are, I think is such an, a powerful thing for women around the world to wrap their head around because it's it's um, they're all so unique. And I think more and more women around the world need to understand how powerful they are. And I applaud both of you for the lives that you are leading and the things that you are doing to embrace that. And I think it's brilliant. Yes, um, uh, listen, you can see, I still a man, I'm a man. Um, I'm a father, I have a son. Um, the moment I discovered my sexuality, I was 17 to 18. And I was very confused because I think I'm not gay. What I am, a lesbian, you know? <laughs> Because I like women. Anyway, the thing is, the women for me, it's so important, is the muse. And, and until stat, uh, statically, yeah. statically, I love to be a woman. Like, yes. from outside. Yes. I still the same person, you know me personally. Uh -huh. And, you know, I still the same person. But I never, I'm very secure of myself and you some are. people call she you are a she i don't know i'm sorry i'm a he yes. they're very confused <laughs> <laughs> ladies yeah. all brilliant it's all brilliant because you're both but great because people. because the, the woman for me is a real muse you know yeah. and not just for me for all artists the right. woman is a muse that's why you see more uh, sculptors. Um, if you go to put this, you know, all the sculptors uh, together in the 20th century, the majority is women's. Yeah. That's you know, and the majority, not say it's not a lot of men's, because. Um, it's funny, uh, if you make a sculptor very with a man, you know, you just see in the gay homes, right? Yes. Right? Yeah, usually. Usually, you just see in gay homes. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. Huh? It's true. Is you know, because the concept of the women, it's so important. And that work, had a good to do to the world, to the world. This is the most important thing to the world, not just local, it's for the world. I'm ready to help in everything. Yes. Because I think the women must have the chance. The women is super, super good um, in sports, right? Oh my God. Yes. It's unbelievable. You can see that. And plus, amazing. And plus, women is a mother. Yes. Remember that. And all sons, good sons, of course, the mother is the idol. Yeah. If you are a good son, your mother is the idol. If, yep. if you are not a good son, your mother is second plan. Mm, wow. That's pretty powerful. You know, it's... It, no, it, but it's it, true. Yeah. I, I, I told something wrong. No, yeah. no, no, no. I told something wrong. I see by myself, you yeah. know, that uh, uh, my son is lucky because I have, I have the two parts. I have the, my, my female part and my male part. My female part is my sophistication, is my... Um, You're is a great stylist. Yeah. Yes, but that is my my taste yeah. uh, in everything, uh, setting tables, doing everything. I, you know, but but it's not just that. Is is also from inside. I'm more 
um, you know, I feel more sorry if I see a dog suffering, someone suffering, my female side comes out. Yeah, compassion. You know, compassion. You it's, you're right? Yes. And I see, and I learn a lot with Betty. We are married for 25 years for some reason. Yes. For some reason, mm -hmm. you know, yep. it's not up in the air. And people, the majority thing is something about sex. No, sex is second plan. Yep. Yep. Third plan is not important. Right. The most important is what's is, going is on is your soul. Is your soul. Be two in one. Yes. Yes. People don't understand it at all. Totally get it. I got a, another question for you. Um, what is the best advice that you would give to women around the world? With your experience. I think love is the greatest thing. Love and loving people and being kind. That's the most important thing to me. It's very, very important to love. That's, that's... And love is God. You know, if you have love inside, right. you have God. Yeah. If you not have lo love inside, you're not have God. You have right. the devil. Right. And I think you have you, uh, you, uh, uh, the opposite is the jealousy, the the people is well, not that's, that's generous. Another, that's another thing. No, it's not another thing, it's exactly the opposite. Yeah. It's the devil side, right. you know. Yep. Um, you can look to her because he's, he's not, uh, he's, he's not, I didn't put the ring light. Uh, we are in the natural light. In oh, okay. Apartment. Well, you look you look gorgeous. The lighting's very very good. So, um, but I I really like your advice there in regards to the love because I think because I think the most important thing is love. Yes, love, love. Yeah. And I see with Betty, you know, all our attitude. You know, she's a lady by title. She's right. a dame by united. You know, by the the queen, blah, 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 she's British, okay? And I see our attitude in life. Yep. You yep. know, she opened the door for the, for the deliver man. Yeah. Because she's feeling sorry for him. Right, right. You know, she's feeling sorry for people. To, yeah. Oh, Jose, look, look, look. And I see my lady who opened the door, you know. <laughs> And Jose has no patience. And I'm, I'm not patient at all. I go, oh my God, what are you doing? And she go, poor thing. It's in suffering. Imagine what he's carrying in his arms. And I go, it's right. That is love. Yes, love and compassion. Love and compassion. Love and compassion. It's so important. It is. It's so so simple and so important. You know, and people respond to you. Yes. They really do. And especially now with what's been going on with the pandemic and everything. And people are so kind. I mean, everybody helps you when we go out in the street. It's amazing oh, yes. how people are. Yes, people is very good for us. Yes. Like we have like attraction. We yes. attract people. It's because your energy, because your it's energy is so positive. You know? for love. So uh, you're not, you did not mention one thing. I'm, um, uh, I am an, uh, an art marchandard, an art dealer. Oh. And um, also, I'm a TV um, presenter and pers mm -hmm. personage. And Betty is a jewelry designer. Mm -hmm. And I can see for Betty, for instance, look Betty's life. Her husband never let her to grow the first husband, the, the wow. second husband, yes. because yes. I'm the third one. And yes. the first one, forget it. Yes. it was, I was the war bride. She was the war bride. Okay, but forget it. Yes. Uh, the first one is the father of our son. The second one, or she was married for 
38, yes, 38, 38 years, years. Wow. you know, never left to grow. Yeah. Uh, she told one story, very interesting. Sometimes the, uh, the, she started in jewelry business because she, her husband was giving pieces to her and she was one of the biggest in diamonds. And she detested everything he was giving to her. And she started to say to him, please bring me, I want to make my things. And everybody in there, of Goodman's, was doing crazy. The days of glamour, 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 glamour. And she had to talk about your life. Yeah. Your head was flying. Huh? It's true. Yes, it's true. Yeah, what? Well, I was very popular in those days. But why? Yes. And my, and my husband <laughs> he wanted to put me on the best dress list. And my husband said, nothing doing and have the IRS breathing down my back, you know. So crazy. <laughs> never let so me crazy. Do you know, it's so crazy. It's the same like the jewelry. He never to let her grow. I was the only one start to put Betty as a jewelry designer. And these girls design, look what, look, look what she have today. Oh, what? wow. Van, Van Cleef? Yes. Van Cleef? Yes. What is this? Gorgeous. Yes. You see? Yeah. And this is unique. This is a yellow diamond. Yeah. Uh, unique because it's like um, the shape. Yeah. And the earrings is what? Um, from years ago, Cartier. Cartier. Wow. The design to Cartier. The first time she went to Cartier, Listen to this. Yeah. She put, she was in the office with her husband and the husband uh, um, see Betty all dressed up with, a, with her Kelly crocodile bag. And he asked, where do you go? So early, because uh, it's not normal, you know, <laughs> because we are night birds. <laughs> or like all artists, we love to create but in night, yeah. at night. And uh, she told, I go to Cartier. I go to have a meeting in Cartier's. What your husband told? Told. <laughs> he couldn't believe it. No, no, not yeah. what he told you, his words. Well, what did he say to me? What, you go, what does Cartier want to do with you? Yes, it's true. He said, not it's true. Why, <laughs> what did Cartier want with you? So oh. I went there and they ordered like, 15 pieces of jewelry and not only did they order it they put it in the times newspaper wow the, wow you know <laughs> kudos for you to take that so, initiative right and me, not and not listen got, to your husband it got me started like that you know yeah so through uh, Cartier's you went to Van Cleef huh? well Van Cleef we did business with, you see, my husband was in the diamond business. But forget it's so, your husband, we're yeah, talking about you. We're yeah, talking about you. I know. But your, that first husband is dead. <laughs> dead, 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 forever. <laughs> he dead 30 years That's ago. That's a terrible thing. Yes, but it's true. Yeah. It's true. Well, I she, did, true. She, did not, she did not let him hold her back. Exactly. No. Forget no. it. Who knows? Who's that getting you? Is he? Is Betty, it come brave. here to be getting you? Oh, yeah. well. Thank Betty, that's you. brave. I mean, you know, more and more women need to be able to do what you did. I mean, really, they really do. So no, kudos I'm to you. I'm very fortunate that I had the opportunities. Yeah. But she yeah. never came up because he never let her to be up. Yeah. The moment she came, uh, uh, she had an, an article in the like the Bible of the fashion industry. Right. Um, women's wear daily. Women's wear daily. In 1969, uh, the husband told, hmm, must be a little picture of you. Uh, you got to be lucky. It's a wall page. Wow. wow. Wall page. Wow. That's awesome. That is you awesome. know, I'm talking about our taste of everything, you yeah. know? 
Yeah. Unfortunately, the Betty's friends is most dead. Yeah. You know? yeah. She's not in this world anymore. She's still a survivor, but the the the, the other one, you just still have what one friend. Yes. Yes. Many. Yes. One friend, two friends, no many. Crazy, crazy. So you you both know that we've got a perfume coming out, right? Have yes, you... I'm so excited about it. I know, it's got um, thirty essential oils, completely organic, completely organic. And it's made in France. And um, John Charles Salmonard is the uh, is the perfumer. The the, the name the name. Uh, the company is Seven Sons, and so they've made it for us. Um, and it's, it's so lovely. And so we're at, at a point where we're getting very close to make the announcement for uh, where you can buy it. So um, we'd love for you to to share the news once we have that. Uh, I'm going to be delighted. Yes, I'm going to be delighted, and I go to share in my, in my Instagram because I have a lot of followers, and um, it's for one cause. Yes, it's not for profit of anybody. It's for a yes. cause. You know what? The cause is so important, and um, you know, there's a lot of female founders out there who are not getting invested in for some of the things that they're doing, and women are. Um, are really doing huge impactful things for other women around the world and they need funds. And so we feel very strongly that all the proceeds from the hair perfume will go to all the female founders and, and, and females that are running projects to support humanity and the planet. And um, we're really, we feel so strongly that women need to help women. So we really do appreciate your promotion of it. Um, so when we announced the distributor, so thank you so much for that. And Betty is a muse, the real muse. It is the real authentic muse, muse. absolutely. So um, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you and thank you so much for your support on that. One final question I have for you and I'll, I'll let you go because I know you've got an evening of violins tonight, which is, I'm very jealous. <laughs> And have the house as a mess. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Um, so we're building a city um, uh, for the future of humanity. It's going to have all genders, all religions, all nationalities, but there'll be a strong theme to support the women and put the women on, on the top. Uh, we feel it's very important to have one city on this planet that honors women and um, you know the museum, the university was based on the future of humanity, and then also a convention center. But we're in the we're in the throes of discussion of the property location now. Um, we're hoping it will be Morocco, and um, a lot like the size of Lisbon, right? A really big, smart, and green city. But based on on your experience and the life that you've lived. What would be one thing that you think would be important to have in this city? What could be a good thing to important to be in that new city? That is a little difficult That's because tricky. there's so many, so That's many so nice. things important in life. That's a tricky question. A museum. Mm -hmm. For what? Go to help people to learn a little bit. But I think the most important thing could be there is teachers. Teachers for people, teachers for the girls, teachers for the talent girls, right? Good yeah. examples, you know? Because the women cannot expose ourselves. That is one the the biggest problems in this century. Yep. You know, the women start to be too easy and the men don't like that. Right, right. You know, the men don't like that. Yep. The women must be tough and intactable. Yes. Not touch me. Yes. See me, but no touch. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> okay.
Okay, ladies, I really enjoyed. I'm sorry. I, got, uh, I really keep wanting to call you a lady. Up in yeah. that course, and because I can teach a lot, I can give a lot of myself. Yes. You know, to the well, girls. We are really excited to have you guys with us. Um, and obviously, the more that we can get more female leaders around the world and more uh, more women to understand that they're important and they're valuable on this planet. And I think um, we could have a better future um, for our planet if, if everyone is, is at the table. And uh, so we really thank you for your time today and also for your help as we move forward with the perfume. So you guys are- are you expecting that perfume? <laughs> yeah, yes. Well, I may have to hand deliver it to and you. We like, love perfume. <laughs> yes. We so, never go out before we put a touch of perfume. It's yes. like we're missing something. Yes. You know, you never go out if you not have a piece of jewelry. You never go out if you not have perfume. I, it's two things <laughs> crucial. Yes, yes. <laughs> And we, we want this perfume to unite all the women around the world. So thank you for your help on that. I really appreciate it. So with that, I'll let you guys go. And thank you again for the time here. And thank um, really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you, It's wonderful meeting you. Oh, you, you guys are just brave. And, and I love you both. So anyway, take care. <laughs> and we will you see you in All right. Thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye bye.